Thank you for being patient with me. I know some of you were really interested in the continuation, uh, basically part two of the UV2 versus the XV3 from Sundown. So here I pulled up the schematics. Uh, the biggest thing I want to talk about today is the X max or the, the stroke because they both have an X max of 30 millimeters. And some people confuse that with thinking that they basically have the same uh, potential stroke, which is not true at all. So what we want to pay attention to is this top plate. That's right here. I can't tell exactly how thick it is. But you can see that it is significantly thicker on the X. Um, I'm not sure how much thicker, but it looks like it's probably at, at least twice as thick. And this is this is really important because this this is the key to understanding what's going on. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, we're gonna look now at this diagram once again because I want to talk a little bit about. Uh, the magnetic flux. So here is your top plate right here. This pole piece is basically the uh, other side of the magnetic field. So you have one which is one pole and one is the other. What's happening is your your flux lines are kind of going everywhere just reaching this other pole. So your flux lines kind of look like that. Okay, so subwoofers typically rate their excursion by 70% BL, which is exactly what Sundown does, which means that when this voice coil is moving up, and let's say it gets about right there, let's see if I can make that a little thicker for you, a little easier to see. So when the subwoofer voice coil is moving up and it reaches about right there, that's about 70% BL. Okay, so here's your X voice coil, this is your U voice coil, this is your top plate for the U, and your top plate for the X is on this side. So I'm just putting them side by side for comparison. The pole would obviously be up through here, the pole would be here. This, this is, these are the um, length of the windings, and it, these are a rough estimate. The, the U is accurate, the X I couldn't get exact dimensions for the voice coil, but um, it's pretty close from what I can tell and what I've looked at online. Okay, so what happens is you've got these centered. Right now, this X is centered on its top plate, and the U is centered on its top plate. And remember, the top plate has the magnetic flux that is jumping. It's strongest in the center, and it gets a little bit weaker toward the outside, especially as it's uh, you know jumping off the metal and kind of curving to to get to the other side. So what happens with the X max is Let's move these both up at the same time. About like that. Okay. You'll notice, so, once you get to the, about route this point with the X, 30% of that magnetic flux is below here. So this, all this stuff that's jumping over there isn't even touching the voice, the voice coil, the windings. Same thing on the U, same thing, look at that. So once you get about this point it's not touching so that's it that's literally they have the same x max that's the x max because it's 70 percent measured one way now what does that mean well if you want to you really want to push these guess what this u is going to tap out about right there right the top and this x will tap out about right there now if you look at it like that the stroke of the x is much farther once again we go down and the X will tap out about right there, and the U will tap out right there. So you can see that there is a significant difference in the overall stroke capacity of the U versus the X while they're still within the top plate assembly without, you know, obviously jumping and becoming a problem. But X Max is because of this thicker top plate, they both move up the same amount, and there you go. Now they've got. 30% of their BL below the voice coil. And that's why they have the same X max, but completely different strokes. That's why I use the X for 
super long uh, strokes. You use it for real low stuff. And the U is kind of built more for higher frequency stuff. Guys, I hope this explained it. I hope this helped. Because this is a mystery a lot of people kind of always have. And um, stay tuned for more content. I got some pretty cool stuff coming up. And thanks for watching. All right. Cheers.